In this video, I will show you how to get lowest input delay in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. I will also show you the best NVIDIA driver for Fortnite that gives you the lowest input delay and max FPS in Fortnite, which I actually have been recommending for quite a long time and now a lot of others have also started using it along with more tweaks that you can do to actually remove input delay in Fortnite Season 7 and get more FPS. So please stay tuned guys and if you want to support my work, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. It will help me out so so much and without any further ado, do, let's get straight into today's video. So yeah guys starting with the best NVIDIA driver that you can use right now to get the lowest input delay and max FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 and that NVIDIA driver is 457.30. Now a lot of people who have been following me will know that I have been recommending this driver for quite a long time now and I also have benchmarks as you guys can see on screen which shows that the 457.30 will give you guys better frame times and better overall average FPS as compared to the other latest NVIDIA drivers. So in order to download this driver, just open up your browser or click the link down below in the description which will directly take you to NVIDIA's website and the 457.30 driver download page. Once you are here, just click on the download button, the driver will download and then you need to install it. Now before installing this driver, you will need to uninstall the older one which you can do in two ways which I'm gonna show you guys right now. So for the first method, go ahead and open up your start menu, search for control panel and go ahead and open it up. Uninstall a program, then go ahead and scroll down till you guys can find the NVIDIA driver and just go ahead and delete all of these. Once you have done that, you can restart your PC and install the new driver. Now this is the basic method that I really don't recommend. You should only do this if you don't have time and you need to install the driver as quickly as possible. For the other method, you can check out my this video which shows you guys basically how to clean install NVIDIA drivers from the scratch and everything that you guys need to do in order to reconfigure your driver, get the best driver and also how to clean install it. So make sure that you guys go ahead and check out this video as I'm not gonna go over that method once again. So once you're done with installing your clean driver, you obviously need to reconfigure your NVIDIA settings. So yeah guys, that video will also show you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings that you can do to get the lowest input delay and boost FPS inside of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. Just make sure that you go into the description of this video and watch that video after you have finished watching this one. So up next, we're going to be disabling a service which is going to help you guys with getting lower input delay and boosting the overall performance of your PC. That service is this main which relates to SVC host processes. Disabling this service will help you guys boost the performance of your windows and in turn get lower input delay and better FPS in games. So in order to do that, head down to your start menu, search for services, go ahead and open it up and then click anywhere, type S to find the sysmain service, then right click, go into properties, click on stop, this is going to stop the service, then for the startup type, just go ahead and set this to disabled, hit apply, hit ok and that's basically it. Just go ahead and close out of this. So the next step relates to both your mouse and keyboard input delay and in order to reduce the keyboard and mouse input delay, go down to your sort menu, search for mouse. Then go ahead and open up the mouse settings, go into the pointer options and just make sure that this slider right here is set to the 6th option. So slide it all the way to the left, then using your arrow keys move it to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that it's on the 6th bar. Once you have done that, just make sure that the enhanced pointer precision is unchecked, hit apply, hit ok and that's basically it for the mouse input delay. Now for the keyboard input delay, go into your start menu once again and search for keyboard. Go ahead and open up the keyboard settings and just make sure that both of these repeat delay and repeat rate are set to the short and fast. So that is all the way to the right. Once you have done that, hit apply, hit ok and now you guys will feel a tremendous difference in the input delay of both your mouse and keyboard. If you guys really want to lower your input delay even further, then I highly recommend you to go ahead and download this software called the ISLC. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have heard about it, but I'm gonna show you guys the correct method of using this. So I will leave this link down below in the description. Just go ahead and click on the official download here which will download the .exe file for this intelligent standby list cleaner. So once you guys have downloaded this, just go ahead and open up the .exe for this which I have right here. Just go ahead, right click, run it as administrator, extract it, then go ahead and open up the folder, right click on the intelligent standby list cleaner .exe, run it as administrator and then it will give you guys this interface right here. Now the first thing that you guys want to do is set the, the list size is at least to 1024. Just make sure that it's set to 1024 MBs and then free memory is lower than this number is equal to half of your total system memory. So as you guys can see that I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and the half of that is 8 gigabytes. So I can just go ahead and set this to 8096 or even just 8000. It really doesn't matter. Just make sure that it's around the half value 
show off your total system memory. Once you have done that, you want to set the wanted timer resolution to 0.50 and then make sure that the enable custom timer resolution is checked. Once you guys have done all of that, set the ISLC polling rate to 1000, start ISLC minimized and launch ISLC on user login. These two options are actually optional. So if you're the type of guy who jumps into game as soon as he starts the PC, then I highly recommend you guys to check these options. Otherwise, you can go ahead and leave them unchecked. So just go ahead and copy all of my settings. Once you have done that, click on start and now you can minimize this software. Just keep in mind that you need to run this software in the background while you're playing the game, otherwise it won't work. So just keep this software running in the background while you're playing the game and once you have played the game, go ahead and open it up once again, click on stop and then you can close out of this. A lot of pro players use this software, many tweakers use this software and you guys better know that everyone recommends these softwares for lowering the input delay. So just make sure that you are using this, otherwise you are doing yourself a disadvantage. Then moving on, we are Going to be showing some of the settings that you should do and shouldn't do in the epic games launcher for better input delay so just go ahead and open up your epic games launcher going into library the first thing that i recommend you to do is click on these three dots go into options and just make sure that you only have downloaded the fortnite core battle royale if you do play save the world then that's up to you but i highly recommend you guys to not download the high resolution textures these really don't make a difference in quality that much and instead will eat up your resources such as your memory cpu and storage as well so i highly recommend you guys to uncheck this if you do have this checked and then hit apply and also for the additional languages only download the language that you use so maybe if you are dutch and you speak that language then only download that language and don't download any of the other languages so just make sure that the high resolution textures are unchecked and you have only downloaded the language that you want to play in then moving on to the settings tab, what you want to do here is go ahead and uncheck the enable offline mode browsing, uncheck the minimize to system tray. This will make sure that when you close the Epic Game Launcher, it does not minimize to system tray, but instead it closes from the process as well, which is super useful. Run when my PC starts, this is up to you. Then go ahead and allow installs while editors is running, make sure that this is unchecked as well. And enable cloud saves, this is basically up to you, it does not make that much of a difference, but still if you suffer from really high ping, you should consider unchecking this one. Show free game notifications, uncheck that, show news notifications, just basically uncheck all of the notifications. Then for the command lines, I highly recommend you guys to remove any of the commands that might be present here because none of those really work and will instead lower your performance. So make sure that nothing is present here, uncheck additional command line arguments and then you can go ahead, go back and close out of this. And to finish off the video, I'm going to show you guys the best in-game settings for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 to get the lowest input delay and max FPS in Fortnite. So yeah guys then moving on to the best Fortnite in-game settings, open up Fortnite and then go into the settings. As for the windowed mode, you always want to set it to full screen, as full screen will not only give you guys the lowest input delay but also maximum FPS. So make sure that your windowed mode is set to full screen. As for the resolution, I play on my native that is 1920 by 1080 but if you guys have a low end PC then I highly recommend you to try out the 1600 by 900 and if you guys have an even low end PC then you might want to go ahead and try the 1280 by 720 this is going to give you guys a lot more fps and higher fps mean lower input delay as well then for the frame rate limit you guys want to set it to the average fps you get or a step above your refresh rate so for me i have 60 hertz uh, refresh rate but i cap it at 120 because that's around the average fps that i get i actually do get around 144 fps but i have figured that they drop down if i don't cap them at 120 so yeah just cap your fps at an average value that you are sure you will get. Then all of these are personal preference. I like to keep the colorblind mode off and the strength at 5 and it's it's completely irrelevant since I have this turned off but a good colorblind mode is actually Protanope if you want to try that. I personally like to keep it off. 3D resolution I have it at 100% which I do recommend most of the people as it affects the quality but if you're playing on a higher resolution then you might want to turn this a bit low maybe at 80%. Yeah, that would give you guys the FPS boost that you need. Then for the view distance, I like to keep it at 4 because it gives a competitive advantage. Textures, low and and since I am using the performance mode, I have the meshes option which are set to low as well. Trust me guys, meshes on low are much much better than meshes on high. They give you guys ridiculously low amount of input delay and even more FPS. I highly recommend you guys to try switching to low meshes instead of the high ones. And also if you guys are not playing on the performance mode, then you can check out this video right here which shows the settings for 
for DX11 and DX12 in much more detail. So I will leave the link down below in the description. Make sure to check out that video after watching this one. We think you always want it turned off, show FPS personal preference and rendering mode. Like I said, I'm using performance mode. If you guys are not, then check out the video linked in the description. Then going into game settings, just make sure that your matchmaking region is set to what you actually play on and where you live instead of setting it to auto. Because if you set it to auto, then the game will try to connect to different server locations which will actually give you guys high packet loss and even more ping. So just make sure that you set it to the region where you actually live and play on. Then scroll all the way down till you guys go to replays and just make sure that all of them are turned off. Unless you really need the replays, I highly recommend you to turn all of them off because this is going to make such a difference in the input delay as well as as FPS. Then moving on to the sound settings here just make sure that the sound quality is set to low and also make sure that the visual sound effects are turned off. These actually impact the FPS a lot more than you think so make sure that these are turned off. Then hit apply and then go ahead and close out of it and that's basically it. I will also link all of the videos that will actually help you with gaining more FPS and lowering the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out. If you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments down below, I try to reply to every single one of your questions and also if this video helps you then make sure to leave a like down below. It will help me out so so much and also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and want to see more videos. With that I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, until then stay awesome.